Hey guys, this week we're looking at AndCo. AndCo is one of those websites that's like an all-encompassing tool for freelancers. It handles contracts, proposals, invoices, you can track your time, you can track your client lists, and it actually ends up being one of the cheaper plans on the market if you decide to upgrade. So real quick, looking at the free plan, you can manage one client. And I know that's very limiting for a lot of people out there, but having one client for free is a great place to start if you're a brand new VA, you're brand new to freelancing, and you wanna see if this platform is worth it. I wanna mention, by the way, that if you do upgrade at $18 a month, this plan is actually much cheaper than Dubsado and even HoneyBook. I believe that both of those platforms come in around $39 per month. When you create a new account, this is what your dashboard looks like. It's pretty empty, but we have some options to help us set it up and make our business tracking a little more robust. First of all, I really like that you can set goals. I think we all know that saying, a goal without a plan is just a wish. This right here can be a really powerful way to start planning stuff for your own business. So let's say you're new, uh, set yourself a nice goal. The next month, you wanna charge five grand. So there's our goal. We'll come back to it later and I'll show you how this ties in with invoices. All right, first thing we probably wanna do is add our client details. I'm gonna add myself. All right, so I've got my brand new client here ready to go and it's pretty easy to see already how many projects I can send, how much income I've received from this particular client and when I sent my last email to them. Now, since we are on the free plan, if you do try to add another client, you'll be asked to upgrade to the next level. So I've got my client set up. I wanna start setting up some projects now. Something that we could do if you have a long-term client who you are billing repeatedly is simply set up a project like mis uh, miscellaneous VA services. Then I'm gonna assign this to a client. Presuming that we bill clients monthly, I can close the client at the end of the month. We can add services like uh, miscellaneous admin type services. This is more for us on the back end. Flat fee, let's say we charge them $1,000 a month. We can get a little more descriptive in the things that we're doing, but for the sake of this example, I just wanna keep working through this. And the nice thing is, is that we can also indicate that we're invoicing monthly. We can select dates when the new invoices should be sent, and we never have to indicate an end date. So let's go ahead and create that project. Now that we're looking back at the dashboard, we've got our client set up, we've set up a project. It is reoccurring monthly. I also want to connect to online payments. I am a big fan of online payments. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that my first go-to is direct deposits. And that's because you can avoid any sort of transaction fees, unlike PayPal and Stripe. So when you get a direct deposit, the money from your client goes right into your bank no fees need to be paid to anybody. If you don't have that option, PayPal or Stripe are both a great option. I use both and all you need to do is enter the email that's associated with either account and then connect those services. All right, so we've already done a lot in just a few minutes. We've set up a new client. We have a project, which is miscellaneous VA services that are going to get billed on month, um, reoccurring monthly basis. Uh, we've set, this is our project. The status upcoming means that I will be sending my client that uh, invoice very soon. If you do have a one-off invoice that you need to send, you can also send it manually. We can set up one from scratch or we can select something that we've already worked on. So let's say I wanna manually send an invoice with an associated project. I only have one project set up, so I'm gonna connect it with this one. From here, Anco pretty much walks you through everything you need to know. So one of the reasons why I think Anco is so, so great, pretty much makes everything look nice, neat, and organized for you. We've got the issue date, we've got the number, we've got the project name, the description, the price, if you are offering any discounts. Typically, as freelancers, you and I don't need to add taxes, but there may come a time that you want to give somebody a discount. This discount, by the way, can also be used if you're prorating your client. Last thing I wanna mention is that you can schedule this invoice. Again, reoccurring invoices, super, super easy. It kinda of takes the pressure off of you having to send that invoice every month and you'll rest easy knowing that your client receives this invoice email on a consistent schedule. Lastly, you can also change the settings. 
While I am based in the US, your clients might not be. All sorts of different currencies from all over the globe. Last note here, this little line of accepts online payments. If you have successfully connected your PayPal or Stripe account, then you'll be able, then your client will be able to pay your invoice right from this invoice itself. And then finally, if everything looks good and you're ready to send it off, you can actually send your client a little note. This comes pretty standard. I recommend if you are seriously sending this invoice, make it a little more human, add some niceties, check in with them. But this is fine for me now. I'm gonna go ahead and send this and then I'll show you what it looks like from the client side. Now we're looking at this invoice from the client side. It gives me the details, the amount due, and best part is I can pay this online automatically. Having this option set up for your clients is super, super handy too because it makes it very easy for them to pay you immediately and it helps relieve any chance of you chasing them down for late payments. By the way, whenever your client opens the invoice, you'll be able to see it. So you saw me just open that invoice and view it and Anco sends me <laughs> and will send you an email that lets you know when it's been viewed and when it's been paid. Once you send your invoice out, you'll see that our dashboard looks a little different. The thing that I like about Anco is they make it pretty clear when something is overdue. This makes it really handy to help you keep up with your clients, who's paid and who hasn't. You'll also notice that our, invo that our invoice has gone towards our new goal that, you s that we set for ourselves. It's really empowering as a new freelancer to see this amount grow. I consider this kind of like a gamification. We all know that when we're playing stupid games on our mobile phones that we like getting free little gifts and it keeps us going because we're excited and we want to see more. This kind of serves the same purpose where the closer this green line gets to your goal, the more jazzed you're going to be about your business. Just a few more things that I want to point out about Anco. You can set tasks and to do's as well as reminders here. If you've been on my channel before, you know that I prefer Aura as a task management system, but if you are opting for something like Anco to be your one and done service tool for you, then this is not a place, bad place to track your tasks as well. Like Aura, you can actually add some task details. You can create new lists. This could be really handy for specific projects or specific clients, especially if you have more than one client on this particular platform. And it's really handy if you have a repeatable task. So if you have to send end of week reports to your client every week, you can make this repeatable. It'll repeat weekly, set it for a Friday. So new task, you'll know that every single Friday, you've got an end of the week report to send out to your people. If you're still with me, thanks for sticking in here. Two more super important things that I want to show you. First one, contracts. Now these contracts are super handy and I talk about this particular contract in a lot of my courses. That's because and co has partnered with freelancersunion.org. This is a great place as well to look for resources and blog posts about all sorts of freelancing. But these two people got together and created a standard freelance agreement, which means that you can rest assured that you're not making up a contract uh, with some weird legal lingo that you stole from somewhere on the internet and you have no clue what it means. This kind of contract is straightforward, easy to send to your clients, and is an absolute must if you are working with new clients. I also wanna point out that you can change the monetary denomination under here too. So don't feel like this is only for US-based freelancers. When you go through your contract, you'll set up very specifically things like services that you're doing for your clients. So this could be some kind of niche that you offer as a VA, or it could even just be general services. You'll set up your payments, whether it's a flat fee or an hour. And you can also set up a billing schedule. Again, this is kind of like the reoccurring invoice that we are sending, or it can be a one and done type of thing. And when you're ready to send this to your client for their signature, you simply hit send. Just like the invoice, they will get an email that makes it very simple for them to sign the contract as well. Last thing I wanna point out is time tracking. 
time tracking, whether you are tracking an hourly or monthly is super handy for all sorts of VAs. Oftentimes we don't really have a good sense for how long something will take us. So for example, if you're brand new and you've never done anything like travel management, or even if you're not a new VA and you've just never done something before, like travel management, and you want to know how long something like this might take you, then it's a good idea to track the time. Fortunately for us, we've already set up our projects, we've set up our clients, so I can go ahead and just hit this play button and it's going to start tracking my time while I'm searching for flights and hotels and cars and all those good things. When I'm done, this activity automatically gets added. If I've forgotten to do something and I want to retroactively add that, you can do that too. So I can say I've just been working on lead generation where I'm looking up leads for my own clients. And it took me about two hours. I can retroactively add that as well. Last thing I want to mention to you is that Anco also comes via mobile or you can download an extension or you can even download it for your Mac if you like to have native apps on your computer as well. So for a free plan, this platform is pretty dang robust. You can invoice clients, send them contracts, get paid, track how much you're earning, send reminders to your clients if they haven't paid your invoices, and it's super easy to make sure that everything that you're doing is tracked and lives in one central place.